and welcome to you rejoin a 120 this is yet another video coming to you from home base here in beautiful thunder bay ontario canada uh, and today we're going to be talking about the addicto simpliciter uh, logical fallacy uh, otherwise known as uh, if i'm again pronouncing this right secundo quid or ad dictum secundum quid uh, apparently this is one of the original uh, 13 logical fallacies that Aristotle talked about in one of his works. If you want to go dig up and read some of the most dry and boring reading ever written, go look that up, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really painful. Um, but this is one of the sort of classic simple examples of mistakes that people make in day-to-day in -day discussion and argument um, and uh, that you can look out for uh, in order to reason better, in order to think more clearly, in order to problem solve as a group better. Uh, so how is this going to work? How this is going to work in its most basic abstract form is that Some x or some premise or, or true or false statement uh, is a common or generally accepted rule. And that x is always true, no exceptions, period. End of story. That is the fallacy part of it. Uh, when written out like this, it's really clear that you look at it and that you say, okay, well, it's a generally accepted rule, accepted by who? Um, what, how did it become a generally accepted rule? Uh, these kinds of questions can come out, but uh, it, in general, it, it takes the form where there's some statement that everyone kind of just sort of says or goes along with, and you're, you're basically taking it too seriously. You're assuming it to be true. Uh, in a greater scope than could possibly be reasonable, and you're, you're basically treating it as if it were, you know, truth given to you, you know, perhaps from some deity, uh, and that you shouldn't, uh, you know, believe any exception to it could possibly exist. Uh, this is, of course, ridiculous. Uh, there are many things that you can say that are almost always true, uh, but nevertheless, there is some exception, and if that exception comes up, obviously, the exception came up. Here's an example of these kinds of generally accepted rules uh, that you know you may want to follow most of the time, but which it would be ridiculous to always follow. Uh, quote, cutting people is a crime, or cutting people with knives is a crime. Well, it's true. It's a crime. You know, you shouldn't do it most of the time. In fact, almost all the time, it's a bad idea to just, just you know, stab someone with a knife. But if you always uh, believe this and, and took this to the kind of utmost uh, ridiculous length, uh, that would also include surgeons. So the argument of the form, quote, cutting people is a crime, surgeons cut people, therefore being a surgeon is a crime. Well, I mean, that, that doesn't follow. You know, that being surgeon is a crime be beyond being false. It's just not logical to, to assume that, that the, the general rule of cutting people as a crime should always apply and that there is never any exceptions to it. Um, so, th so the thing that we can draw from this is that even for very broad and very general rules of laws, uh, moral guidelines, ethical guidelines, uh, guidelines of all shapes and sizes, there can logically at least be exceptions to them. Being a surgeon and healing people by cutting cancer out of them is not and should not be a crime. Here's another example. Birds can fly. You know, Tweety the penguin is a bird, therefore Tweety can fly. Again, you know, just because birds can normally fly does that not necessarily mean that every bird or every instance in the class bird can fly. Penguins can't normally fly, so it doesn't make sense to say that you know just because something's a penguin that and penguins are birds that this bird can fly. You know, th this this class of general t true statements uh, again. You look for the whether it's possible that there can be an exception. And if there is, then again, you shouldn't believe the argument. Here's another example argument. Thou shalt not kill. You know, carrots are alive. You kill them by eating them. Therefore, you shouldn't eat carrots. Well, again, 
You know, you could you could take the thou shalt not kill and and believe it to that extent, but there there's different senses in which thou shalt not kill can be thought to apply as a moral guideline, even if you buy you know the where it comes from bit. Uh, it's it's not the same thing to say thou shalt not kill as it is to say you should not eat carrots. There, there's a wide range of interpretations that are possible and that it, it makes sense that there are exceptions to this general rule. So this is a, a basically a trope in humor. And if you look for comedies in on video or audio or in plays and whatever, you can usually get a couple of laughs out of people by taking a general statement and then taking it beyond the level that you're supposed to take it. And that everyone has this kind of social understanding of what is acceptable and what is just plain ridiculous. And part of that sort of level of social understanding is when these general rules get taken too far. You know, if you're encoding some kind of a logical system or an expert system or some kind of an artificial intelligence system, you know, you're going to actually have to work to put that codify or to codify and put that uh, th those general rules into the system. And you're also going to have to do take some care to make sure that they don't take these general rules too far. Because A, it's going to be hilarious when they take them too far, and B, you know, people can get hurt when you don't think these things through carefully enough. So in general, there, there, and here we go with this in general bit, but there are very few things that are always and universally true. You know, true is true, one plus one is two, those sorts of kind of a priori facts. You know, there's a lot of um, laws in physics that apply or are assumed to apply everywhere in the universe. But again, these, these laws can be enumerated, they can be counted, you can find out about them. You can know the very, you can, you can kind of go down the list and you'll notice that compared to that list, the list of all other things and all other general rules that people have is very large. And that chances are you're talking with about one of the latter if you're talking about anything at all. And if you're not talking about physics or some low level, absolutely verifiable thing, you're probably in the realm of things that may have exceptions. You, know, you should be watching for the exceptions when they come up. And if someone gives you an argument of this form, you should call them out on it. Again, so hopefully this is something useful to be able to remind yourself that this kind of logical fallacy does exist, does happen, it's even outside of comedy, uh, people do think like this occasionally, we all catch ourselves doing bad things, it happens. Watch for it, hopefully that's a useful tip for you today. Um, if you have any questions or would like any more examples of these kind of ridiculous general properties that people take one step too far, uh, feel free to comment in any uh, thread where this video is posted. Um, hopefully you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Or is there any questions from the audience today? No questions? All right.